Welcome everyone, Dylan Jamelli here today with a brand new video for you. So we're going to talk about normal testosterone levels in men. Now I'm going to start by talking about the difference between total and free testosterone. So once your Leydig cells release testosterone into the bloodstream, it needs to be taken up by the various target androgen receptors and cells in your muscles, fat, brain, and so on. The problem though is that most of this circulating testosterone gets bound up by two proteins, sex hormone uh, binding globulin or SHBG and albumin. All right, now only about 3% of the testosterone in your blood is actually available to be taken up by your androgen receptors and the rest is actually unusable. Your total testosterone is that testosterone in your blood that's either bound or unbound by SHBG. Your free testosterone is that which is unbound from SHBG and, and you know readily available to be used by your cells. The binding with albumin is only loose and so it can still be used. Now, once you hit puberty, your testosterone levels are gonna increase drastically. You're gonna feel like overnight you're getting a deeper voice, body hair. You're gonna develop male characteristics, all right? Your height's gonna probably increase rapidly for most, not everybody, but it will increase your muscle mass and your strength are going to increase as well. Now, your testosterone should be elevated through your early 30s for most people. Some people do have conditions, but for most. I'm going to give you some, you know, reference ranges here now for, you know, normal testosterone levels. Total testosterone clinically 300 to 1000 nanograms per deciliter and free testosterone 5 to 21 nanograms per deciliter. Now we're going to look at ages. So under 25, the average is about 690. Once you're about 25 to 29, it dips to roughly about 670. 30 to 34 is when we get another dip, 621. And then from 35 to 39 and 40 to 44, the average is about 600, just slightly below. 45 to 49 and um, uh, 51 to 54, 50 to 54, it's generally the same at about 545, and then 55 to 59, we get down to like 520, 525 in that range. Those are your averages. Now, we know a lot of us out there are a lot lower than that. Some just stay higher, but these are averages. Your hormone levels are going to naturally fluctuate throughout the day because your body is constantly balancing itself out. So testosterone levels are at their highest in the morning, so that's when you should be measuring it if you're doing it yourself. Now, you've got to remember that testosterone levels decrease with age, all right? From the age of around 30, your testosterone levels fall by 1% to 2% per year, which you can easily tell by the numbers I just gave you, and this can lead to a drop of 30% or more by the ages of 65 to 72. Your free testosterone can be even lower by around 50%, all right? Low testosterone can be a problem. You know, as you pass the peak hormone age of like 18 to 30 years old, your testosterone will begin to naturally decline. So when your testosterone levels fall below that 300 nanogram per deciliter area, you could be diagnosed with clinically low testosterone or what's called as hypogonadism. As a consequence of this, you're going to find it harder to maintain muscle mass, strength, and athleticism. And there's also some other things. You could have increased development of belly fat. You could have loss of libido and sexual appetite. Your risk of cardiovascular and metabolic disease is definitely going to go up. You could be lethargic, tired, lack energy. You could have mood swings, anxiety, depression. You're going to have trouble sleeping. And you could actually have some loss of bone mass and strength. Not every man's going to suffer from low testosterone. By exercising regularly, eating properly, taking the right supplements, you'll fight the natural taper of your male hormones and reap the health and performance goals at the same time. Testosterone truly is the key to longevity. So... You know, make sure you're getting blood work. Make sure you're taking good care of yourself. Make sure you're working out, you know, routinely. You're doing your cardio. You're eating right. Take good care of yourself and you can help fight this off. So, I'm Dylan Jamelli, signing off.